bro. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Fuck you. Ooh. Fuck. All right, all right. Fuck it. Check this shit. Come on. <sighs> yeah, what's up? Hello, Carlos. How are you? Who is this? It's me, your friend David. Do you not have me in your contacts? Ah, uh, nah, sorry, man. It's a new phone. Oh, well, that's okay. How are you, Carlos? I'm, I'm good, homie, but, like, you kind of got me at a weird time right now. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I was wondering, are you busy tomorrow night? <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I guess not. Oh, well, that works out perfect. I, I'm moving out of my house tomorrow, and I could use a helping hand. Do you think you can help me move out of my room tomorrow night? Yeah, man. I suppose so. Excellent. I already packed most of my things in, in boxes and the mattress is ready to go. It should be real quick. Is 7 p.m. a good time for you? Yeah. Yeah, man, I can do that. Fantastic. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. See you tomorrow, Carlos. Yeah, man. Later. <sighs> Dude, who was that? It's fucking David, bro. I guess I have to fucking help him move tomorrow. <laughs> Why'd he say yes? Because, man, he always fucking invites me to shit. He says, hey, do you want a barbecue at my house? Do you want to go to the movies? And I always leave him on red. I guess I felt... I guess I got felt guilty. Should have just told him no. That is fucking annoying. I didn't even class SMS. You want to shut the fuck up. Yep. Now I'm going to have to hear him fucking complain about his parents or how he wants his fucking room. <laughs> Out of all the people... Why'd he call you? Bro, he thinks we're best friends. Honestly, I haven't talked to this man since high school. For some reason, he thinks we're in still the fucking ninth grade. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Honestly, he's too fucking uptight. He's a fucking control freak. Like, nicest guy ever, bro. I promise you, but like... He must have, like, OCD or some shit, man. Just don't show up. <sighs> nah, man. Like... I think I'm just gonna do this and just be done with David. You know? But fuck it, bro, let's play. Yeah. You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> hey, Carlos, what's up? What's up? Well, come on in, we have some moving to do. So, how's life? Good, bro. How's work treating you? Fine. You know, man, same shit, different day. Well, I hope there's a change of pace soon. Listen, do you like Indian food? Can't really say I ever had it. There's this amazing Indian restaurant up the road. The food is unbelievable. I was thinking we might... Check it out after we're done here. I'll treat you to dinner as thanks for helping me. I can't really, man. I have some stuff to do after this. Oh. What do you have to do? Uh, my brother's soccer game. Oh, I didn't even know you had a brother. Yeah, I thought I told you. But the whole family's gonna be there. And I, I just have to go. I completely understand. Let's get started then, so we can get you on your way. My room's upstairs if you'll follow me. Yeah. You know, I reached out to a lot of people. Not, not a lot of them were available, so I appreciate you being here. Sorry to hear, man. Okay, so we're gonna move the boxes first. Then we're gonna do the instruments. I'd like to do the piano after that, you know instruments and um then the drawers finally the mattress and the nightstand should be last and then we're done what's up with the door it's in there oh nothing the door stuck closed my father tried to fix it but this door is never gonna open <laughs> did 
Did I tell you why I'm moving? I don't know, man. Your parents kicked you out? No, actually. Quite the opposite. I saved up money and I got an apartment downtown. Cool. Good, man. The apartment looks great. It's nice, clean, a fresh new home. You know, I didn't live at the college while I was going there, so I stayed here for four years. And my parents were always like, are you gonna apply to graduate school? Are you, why are in your room so long? Are you applying for internships? You know, all that stuff, it was, well, you know. <laughs> so I just decided to get my own place. But this new place is gonna give me the time and space to be myself. And most importantly, I can just be me, you know? But well, enough about me. Let's get this done so we can get you to your brother's soccer game. You know, we should do this more often, you know, hang out. You're a really cool person to be around, you know that? Yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. You know, once I'm settled in, we should totally, like, throw a party and you could bring your friends or something, you know? Yeah, man. For sure. It sounds fun, but, um, I kind of got to run now. Uh, oh. <laughs> Shoot. I totally forgot. I left a box upstairs. I forgot to put it with the rest of my stuff. It has all my memories, you know, stuff from school. Would you mind getting it for me? Yeah, man. I gotcha. <sighs> Thanks. Nothing in here.
Hello, Steven. It's me, David. How are you? Oh, that's great. Listen, I'm moving out of my house tomorrow and I could use some help. Do you think you could come help me move out of my room tomorrow morning? Excellent. I already, I already packed my belongings and boxes and the mattress is ready to go. It should be real quick. Is 10 a.m. a good time for you? Fantastic. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, Steven. Thanks for your help.